We all know what gravity is. It keeps us on Earth and makes things fall. You might even think about the apple that fell on Newton's head, leading him to describe gravity. The thing is, Newton had no idea why things actually fell. So, what is gravity? Einstein didn't particularly like Newton's mysterious force of gravity. So, he tried to make his own theory, and he started with... Acceleration. Imagine you're in an elevator floating in space, and it accelerates upward at 9.8 meters per second. The same acceleration due to gravity here on Earth. What would you feel? Other than fear, you would feel the floor push up against your feet, creating a sense of gravity. Stuck inside, you wouldn't be able to tell if you're on Earth or an accelerating space elevator. Okay, so what if we accelerate downward at 9.8 meters per second? like in free fall. Let's use this water bottle to demonstrate. Whenever the bottle feels a gravitational field, the water will fall out of the holes. However, once you drop the bottle, the water stops coming out of the holes. It doesn't feel gravity. The acceleration cancels out the gravity. In reality, the effects of acceleration in gravity are the same. Einstein called this the equivalence principle. The problem is, this violated a couple rules. But, Einstein figured out that if the world was non-Euclidean or curved instead of flat, his theory worked. Composed of three spatial dimensions, and one time dimension, space-time is like a fabric that spans the entire universe, or at least my trampoline. All objects follow curves on this universal fabric, caused by bigger, more massive objects. In our solar system, the planets follow warped paths caused by the sun. This warping can even change how fast time passes. Massive objects slow down time. Gravity is simply the curvature of space-time that's bent by matter and energy. This is Einstein's theory of general relativity, and it dictates how galaxies move, working on a universal scale. But, it also works on the scale of apples.